What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to a quick little update on NIR or the NIR protocol. Uh, but in this video we'll be talking about uh, the NIR token, native token of the NIR blockchain. Uh, wanted to do an update, but it was also scheduled. If you don't know me, basically what I do in, in most of my videos is I, I take a look at the price of some uh, cryptos, some of the news around it, some of the fundamentals, some market insights, whatever you need to at least kind of accurately know what's going on with the price and what's mo most likely to happen next. Um, so yeah, it, w it, it was also scheduled. My, my whole upload schedule is uh, in the Discord via the link down in the description. So uh, let's let's dive right into it. So there was no big news around uh, near, I believe, in, in, in the last, I don't know, in the last couple of days, I believe. I mean, apart from that, it's, it, it, it's a great protocol. It's a great blockchain, I think. It definitely uh, has, has a great ecosystem already. It's in the top, uh, top 30. So, I mean, that says enough to me. Uh, relatively new as well, you can see 2020. End of 2020 uh, was, um, was its creation. Um, but apart from that, I mean, volume right now, gotta be honest, is pretty low. Um, it's kind of lagging uh, behind other cryptos because the volume of, of most cryptos in the last 24 hours has gone up quite a bit. Uh, last couple of days were pretty quiet. As you can also see with NIR, volume dropped down there. But as I said, the volume of NIR is still pretty low. Um, while the volume of other cryptos has actually recovered a little bit. But apart from that, I think some recovering is also coming for, for, for NIR. Uh, obviously, when we had that higher than inf higher than expected inflation rate um, result, we dropped down. That was uh, uh, Thursday. After that, we, we bounced back up and then we had those quiet days. What you can see right now is that there's quite a lot of bearish momentum, all right? Uh, to, to just be honest about it, we got this resistance level at around uh, 3.05. Obviously, we also have $3, but that doesn't really seem to be uh, that strong of a level. Uh, so 3.05 is our main resistance level. That's the top of this big key area, uh, but you also got the 28 EMA there uh, and that trend line, even though I'm pretty doubtful about whether that trend line is, is really strong or not. So we're going to delete that for now, but you should know that, that it arguably it's there. Um, either way, so, so what I'm expecting for, for the next few days is that we might actually find some more resistance at 3.05 um, and drop down towards 2.95. But I do think in the upcoming one or two days that we can actually break above 3.05, get up to this level here between 3.15 and 3.2, find resistance there, take a break retest off of 3.5. And I expect us to somewhere at the end of the week start going up towards that 3.3 level, which is the next strong resistance level, right? There's some resistance, as I said, around 3.15 and 3.2, uh, but, but the main and, and the strongest resistance level really is right here between 3.3 and ultimately 3.5. Um, but I don't think we're going to get all the way up to 3.5. I, I think 3.3 is my price target um, because I am expecting some more bullish momentum throughout the whole market and therefore also for near, not specifically some, some bullish <laughs> momentum for near. Um, it's, it, I just think it, it, it will move along with the market. And it could also very well be that from 3.3, that will drop down all the way to 2.95 uh, again. But um, as I said, we'll have to see. So I'll, I'll make an update on uh, near um, either way next week. All right. Maybe if it moves a lot, I'll, I'll make one a little bit sooner. But otherwise, I think you, you just have to follow my Bitcoin analysis um, and to, to kind of know what's going on with the market and at least what's most likely to happen with the market. Um, so yeah, that's that's my take on there for now. If you do have any questions about it, let me know. Also, let me know what you think is the most likely scenario. Uh, but for now, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching and listening. And uh, obviously, I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care and bye.